So here are my top tips for improving communication. So number one, one of the greatest things that I've learned in my experience of doing this is you actually have to respond to people. A lot of times somebody will deliver a communication like a question, is the sky blue? And if they don't get an answer back from that person, then it messes up the communication cycle. So uh, responding to what somebody says, you'd be surprised throughout your daily experience of how many times you make a statement or you ask a question and you don't actually get the answer to it or somebody doesn't even respond, period. Uh, I was thinking recently that I was in an event and I was coaching some people in the audience and uh, one of the actual clients that I was coaching, I, I would ask them a question and then they would kind of sidestep the question and they would go off on another tangent. And then I would ask the question again and they would sidestep the question and go off on a tangent. And it was funny because the whole audience started laughing because the audience recognized it, but the person doing it didn't really recognize it. And then the third time I said kind of in a laughing matter, um, I asked the question again and finally the person responded. So uh, what I learned from that is, is I continue to ask the question. I asked the question over and over again until I got the answer, until I got them to respond to that question. Um, otherwise, people will just jump, 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 jump like this person was and she was totally unaware that she was actually doing it. And the other thing that I learned from that is rather than getting frustrated um, and causing like, a, you know, kind of a, a little ruffle in the conversation, you know, like causing like a, a little uh, tiff, you know, between two people, you know, sometimes when you get mad at somebody, or you get frustrated, there's like a little tiff and it creates space between the two of you and then you don't want to be near each other anymore. Um, well, that's a bad way to communicate, right? So even though I wasn't getting my communication answered, I just started saying it in a very high, um, high, high, like a uh, high, high toned way where I had lots of rapport with her. My tone was good and I just delivered it in a way to her where um, she could respond after me asking the question three times. So, you know, communication is a really powerful thing. And those are the two biggest growth areas that I've had experienced in my life is one, make sure you respond when somebody delivers or acute communication to the question or make sure you just acknowledge the fact that when they are um, you know, asking you a question, you acknowledge that um, you got the question, or if they're saying a statement, you acknowledge it. Like, hey, uh, that bottle's really nice, and you go, oh yeah, that's great. That's just acknowledging it, right? So it's really important to make sure that somebody knows that their communication's been received, otherwise it causes all kinds of challenges, and a lot of times, you know, it, it can cause somebody to feel uh, really bad about themselves, like they, they tried to communicate something and uh, nobody acknowledged them on it. And I know it's happened to me a lot of times in my life where I try and communicate something and then nobody acknowledges me and despite the fact that I'm a speaker and I have a successful business, um, I'll then feel like, wow, I don't exist. So um, I know I've tried to improve that in my life and my relationships is to be listening and hearing somebody um, so that they actually know that they exist. And it can be really tough when you're stuck in your own idea or you're stuck in your own thought process where you're in your head and you're only thinking to yourself rather than communicating with that person. So number one, respond to what somebody says if they ask you a question. Um, uh, number two, if you're asking a question and uh, somebody doesn't respond to you, just ask the question over and over again. Number three, if somebody makes a statement like the bottle's really cool over there, you go, yeah, that's great. Or yeah, it is. Um, just like acknowledging the communication. And um, number three is like when you're communicating with people, you know, make sure that you don't like get frustrated or angry or upset because it just creates space between you and the other person. And then, uh, you know, the relationship gets worse and worse and worse. So those are the things that I would say. Um, you know, one of the persons I've learned this best from is L. Ron Hubbard um, from communication courses that I've taught. So that's the source of how I've learned this stuff. And I'm just giving you my experience on it. So that's been my experience on communication.